Hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, what I've done, I've bought a Fujifilm uh, XS10 camera because I was wondering um, if the, the a proper camera is going to do a lot better video than a smartphone. Now, the smartphone I'm using, which is over here, is a Samsung a Samsung A52, and the camera is when I look this way. So the camera's this way. And the mobile phone is this way. Now, I've been using the mobile phone uh, on my other channel, which I'll put here, uh, for quite quite a while. Uh, and it's done a fantastic job. Smartphones are pretty good at uh, taking the video these days. But I was wondering, should I pay out a bit more and buy a proper camera? I mean, and what is the difference on YouTube? Because uh, a good camera would be well making you know, better, better movies and stuff, but on YouTube, the compression and everything, would it be much of a difference? Would you see hell of a lot of difference between the camera here and the mobile phone there? Now, I've, I've set this up sort of, so there's a bit of backlight here, so there's slightly challenging conditions. It's not ideal um, for this kind of setup. I should be further away from the background and I shouldn't have this much backlight on me. Um, so you know, I it so it'd look nice. It'd look I'd be in focus. The background would be blurred, and you'd have a, a soft sort of light behind you. But I've done it like this, so it challenges the 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 smartphone over here and the camera to see which one does the best job of sorting out different light settings. And I've got a light LED light on top of the uh, Fuji film, and I've got an LED light on top of the Samsung A52. So um, I'll put the, uh, when, when I'm looking this way, I'll be putting this this uh, on the screen. And when I'm looking towards the camera, I'll put this on the screen uh, up until now. And now when I click my fingers, I'll put the two together and you can see side by side. Now I know it's, it's smaller. And if you're watching on a phone, <laughs> it, this is not gonna make much difference. You need to be watching on a big, big screen to see the difference between the two. Because looking on a phone, you probably won't see any difference at all. So that's, 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 this is my sort of test. And now after I've done this test, I'd like to go outside, maybe in cloudy conditions and sunny conditions, and see how this camera does and this camera does. So I think we'll end this bit here. And I might, might review the footage uh, when I'm editing it. And we'll have a look and then the next thing will be popping outside and have a look at what it's like there. Right, okay, I've come outside to see how the camera handles me sitting outside. I've just randomly plonked myself in the boot of the car. <laughs> but um, it's, it's sort of overcast, the sun's coming in and out today. So I just want to see what the dynamics are of the of the of the cameras and what I'm going to do now, I want to see, they're both on uh, auto. In all these tests, I've just put them straight on auto, straight out, out, press, press record and way to go. So I'm going to walk towards the camera now and see how they sort of work with focusing in and out and what happens anyway. So I'll come towards the camera now. I'll sort of walk this way to see if they still focus on my face. And if I walk backwards and come by here, they're still focusing on my face and I'll go back and sit down again and uh, I'll see which one of these cameras is tracking me good. I know that the, I'll come towards the camera now. I'll sort of walk this way to see if they still focus on my face. And if I walk backwards and come by here, they're still focusing on my face and I'll go back and sit down again. And uh, I'll see which one of these cameras is tracking me good. I know that the, the Samsung phone it's a bit it's a bit um sort of the exposure goes up and down all the time and you've got to, you've got to lock it if you want to make a a nice video you've got to lock it but uh i've put it to auto at the moment so it'll just go wherever it wants to go like for instance if i if i locked the samsung now and the sun came out it'd be locked so it'd all be wrong but that's the only way i can do it um so i'll come forward again like this and i'll uh look at this one here and then I'll look at the Samsung, then I'll look at the Fujifilm, then I'll go back again, wood again, like this. And I'll uh, look at this one here, 
and then I look at the Samsung, then I look at the Fuji film, then I go back again like that, come on in again like this, then I go back, and I think that should be a pretty good test of what it's like. And and also in um, insert some footage of me just filming down by the side by here by the river to see what that's like, to see if there's a big difference or not. Okay then, so I did a few tests there. Uh, I was sitting inside here and looking back on the footage of when I was sitting here last time between the two cameras, I obviously I preferred the Fujifilm, uh, the way that looked, the, the mobile phone, it was a bit blown out. It was, everything was a bit too bright. All this was blown out here, whereas the, the camera sort of subdued that and kept it in a, a more normal sort of looking thing. Um, when I went outside, I obviously I preferred that footage as well. Um, I don't know how clear it'll come across when you view it on YouTube, I'm not quite sure. But um, when I was actually editing it, it was a lot more, because uh, it was a, a dark cloudy day, there was a lot more sort of noise on the, um, the Samsung A52 footage. Where you could see in some of the dark areas, there was a lot more noise compared to the camera. Um, so overall, there was a, a more pleasing image from the uh, Fujifilm camera. Um, also, the the mobile smartphone it does a lot of things to try and make the make the um, the video nicer. Like for instance, the when I was outside by the car, the color was sort of oversaturated. It was a bit too orangey, um, which is not what it's like in real life. Uh, so, um, is it is it worth getting a camera, expensive camera for YouTube? <laughs> I don't know really. You you can get by, can't you? You can get by on just your mobile phone because the image quality is pretty good. Um, but if you want, you know, the best of the best quality. Whereas, for instance, if I was sitting closer, the my, the black the background would be blurred out. Like for instance, when I was sitting in the car, if you, I don't know if you noticed, when I was sitting in the boot of the car, the houses behind were slightly blurred on the camera, but on the mobile phone, it's trying to get everything into focus all the time. And that, I gotta, gotta remind you, there's just the auto settings, okay? I didn't do anything fancy. Oh, and I, I gotta say as well, to give the, um, the phone a fighting chance, I had the settings in the camera on, uh, they were both on full HD, 30 frames per second, and I had the camera set on 100 megabits per second or megabytes per second, I'm not quite sure, MPS, MPS, and it can go to 200, and I also had it set on um, the MP4 setting, but you can go to a higher setting again for that. Obviously the files, uh, the one downside to the, the camera is the files are much larger, double or even more actually, of the size of the phone. But am I happy with my choice? Yes, I am, yes I am. I like the camera a lot. So for me personally, a nice lens, nice camera, I like it for myself. So uh, if you like this video, give it a like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Ta!